This time we're going to look at refraction through a prism. And we've got a few different options with this FET simulation to bend light through a prism. So I've chosen white light over here. And I can turn my uh, torch on and off. And what's really cool is I can move my torch up and down. I can also twist my torch. Um, so you should be able to have some fun with this simulation. I'm going to do the sort of thing that you have done in class. So my environment is air and I'm going to pick up a triangular prism and with this little anchor I can move the triangular prism around and I can pop it into the path of the light. So I can also move the angle that the light hits the prism and you should be able to see down here that I can get rainbows just like we did in class. Um, so you can play with the angles, you can play with, oh, I can get quite bright rainbows there. I can even just bend and reflect just the blue line from my rainbow, which is pretty cool. So I can move that one back in here and I can experiment with different shaped prisms. So here's a prism. So how do I need to bend this light to get something cool happening with this? Um, I can put in square shaped prisms. I can put them next to each other. I can change the angles here. I can use circles. I can use semicircles. I can twist the semicircle upside down. Got a few cool things. I've made the light interact with two prisms at once here. Should be able to get another rainbow somewhere around here. There's a rainbow happening up here. So you can have a play with different prisms. You can put prisms next to each other. That's pretty cool. You can see if you can bounce light all over the place with different prisms in different orders using more than one type of prism for example. We can get some cool effects going on. Um, you can then also, you can restart, um, you could pick a different environment. So you could be in water. Um, you could look at light coming out as different beams like that. Perhaps look at how that might affect, um, be bent in different, with different prisms and include more than one prism as well. So you can play with different colors of light, change the color of your light, see how that affects the bending. You can change the different environments. You can change what the objects are made of, whether the objects are made of air or air or water or glass, like the ones we used. Um, so you can have a really good play with this, try and make different sorts of patterns, uh, try and make different rainbows, see if you can predict where the light beams are going to go before you actually put the prism in and turn on the torch. So you can put in a few prisms and then maybe have a guess as to where you think the light might go if you use a particular light beam, okay, of a particular colour. So I'm going to leave you to have a play with that one and see what kind of relationships you can discover.